Hi fabulous people, I'm Yvonne Sims. So recently I shared that when I'm in a relationship and I'm getting to know somebody and or dating someone and I realize something about the relationship is not healthy, that it doesn't feel right and there's just something, just, just, just something there and I can't quite put my finger on it that I don't need to justify you know myself to another person I just simply let them know that hey it was great to get to know you but I'm that's the end and when I end the relationship in addition to letting them know that that's the end I will actually block them from calling me emailing me social media you name it and so some people thought that was particularly harsh um, you know to each his own but for me what I have learned is that it's best not to keep certain relationships alive I have great friendships I don't need any more and if the relationship wasn't healthy and that person didn't make me feel good about myself then why would I keep them around you know I think about in the Old Testament in Genesis 18 you know God comes to Abraham and he basically lets him know that he's gonna destroy Sodom and Gomorrah and Abraham's nephew Lot was living in Sodom and so you know he basically tries to plead with God and says if there are a certain number of people will you spare the city well the truth is, is that there weren't enough good people <laughs> godly people in the city and so God was going to destroy it but because of God's love for Abraham um, and the relationship and the covenant that they had God decided to send angels to actually go spare Lot now the interesting thing is that when God you know when when God sent the angels the angels were very clear Clear to, to Lot and his family that they were to leave right away and that they were not to look back not to look back on Sodom because that God was getting ready to rain down fire and destroy the city and as we know from Genesis 19 of course Lot's wife looks back and she turns into a pillar of salt now how does that relate to us and how does that relate to relationships to me it speaks volumes you know sometimes we are in relationships that are like Sodom and Gomorrah there's nothing good about them um, God is telling us to go that he's given us safe passage and he's saying don't look back because when you look back you start getting in your feelings you start remembering falsely remembering things that might have been good about it and you start justifying you know like why you should potentially stay and if you're not careful you will look back you'll start to go through that process and you'll be like Lot's wife who became a pillow start she got stuck and she wasn't able to move forward you know in other words her life ended but yours too in the sense that if you get in an unhealthy relationship and you get stuck it can take years away from your life so while it may seem you know while it may seem extreme to some people that that's what I do it's just what I do for myself to say hey you know my relationships my friendships they're friendships they're platonic there's nothing more to it um, and those relationships that I've had with men whether it's just talking and flirting or getting to know somebody or um, actually going on a date with them or like something more substantial well those are that is what it is and when that goes to its expected end I respectfully let them know that I appreciate the time and the opportunity to get to know them and spend time with them but this is the end that's the way I do things. So hope that blesses you. Until next time, beloved, be strong and courageous.